Our next laureate is Murray McLaughlin. Mary McLaughlin is one of Canada's best-known singer-songwriters. Known for his socially conscious songs, he achieved wide acclaim for his 1972 breakout single, Farmer's Song. 1972, wow. <laughs> Which earned him, now wait for it, a total of 11 Juno Awards. He's also an accomplished visual artist, he's a great painter, and a popular radio and TV host. Deeply committed to the art of songwriting and creator's rights, he's had a long association with the Society of Composers, Authors, and Music Publishers in Canada. He continues to tour regularly, both on his own and with the band Lunch at Allen's. And Your Excellency, you need to know, Murray is also a pilot. Your Excellency, Murray McLaughlin. Your Excellency, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, well, everyone. Um, it's, I'm particularly honored to see uh, Her Excellency again, uh, first at Idea City, um, wonderful speech, and most recently at the Walrus Talks in uh, Montréal. I'm a fan, and I, I appreciate your being here. Um, it's been a really exciting uh, couple of days so far. There have been some milestones for me, uh, watching Question Period, most certainly, taking the picture of my son in the very spot where Yusuf Carr shot the picture of Winston Churchill. And most importantly, I finally learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll keep my remarks short. It's difficult for me to order breakfast at under 250 words, but I'll do the best that I can. Um, I think I'm a very, very lucky man. And uh, the reason, principally, uh, the biggest one I can think of is because my mother made the decision to emigrate to Canada. She fought my father tooth and nail. He wanted to go to the United States. Good call, Ma. <laughs> The other good fortunes, uh, I have had many good fortunes, but, but also uh, the time that I came up, as Malcolm Gladwell has pointed out, you come along at a certain time with whatever your experience and skill set might be. And if you're lucky, as I was, to come up at the time of a really emergent cultural nationalism, it was one of the principal things that really allowed me uh, to exist with other artists like Bruce Coburn and other songwriters who are well known. Um, it provided a very fertile ground for my work to grow. There's also the new technology of FM radio was just coming up, and it allowed us a kind of freedom to get our songs played by some dope-smoking hippie who was sitting up all night playing whatever the heck he wanted to. It was unformatted, so we got a very big break there, too. But most importantly, I, I received the support of a, of a great many people. Um, nobody has success on their own. Um, it's the team that's behind you, the people at record companies, the people who were in the trenches who were working, the people at radio who supported my career, my manager, um, without whom I would probably be, you know, I don't know, collecting trash, perhaps, I don't know. Um, but it's all uh, been, uh, as a result of all of that, I've had a very, very lengthy career and one that I've uh, enjoyed a great deal. And, uh, and the choices that I've made have resulted in that and ultimately led to being here and being so honored. I, I can only say in all sincerity that I'm deeply, deeply humbled to be here and to receive this award. It's very, when you're Scottish like I am, you get very suspicious when people do nice things for you. <laughs> 
Dominican thing you wouldn't understand. You know. <laughs> it's important, you know, seriously, for any artist to find their own voice. Uh, you know, and that doesn't mean that you forget your influences or the, the people you learn from or that mentored you over the years. Um, but for me, you know, creativity is about reinvention. It's about moving along and then suddenly spiking up to a plateau and learning something new that keeps you excited, that keeps you enervated and, and willing to go on. Um, the joy for me in the, in the work that I do is that it's not... It's not about where you get. It's about the getting to where you don't know. <laughs> so the, the joy is not in the destination. The joy is in the journey and in the, uh, the evolution and the growth that occurs. It's never been about money, um, although it's very pleasant if some of that does come along. So I continue to make music, and I continue to tour um, in theaters across this lovely country both by myself and with the band I play with. My second family, I like to call them, because your friends are the family you choose. And uh, I do it with the support of my dear friends and with my wonderful family, particularly my wife, Denise Donlan, who is, wouldn't be doing it without her. So, for all of those reasons, I think I'm the luckiest guy in the world. So, thank you very much. Much appreciated.